Uh, so again, from an evolutionary computation perspective, we'll, we'll look at all the agents that uh, had to die in order to come up with different solutions in simulation. Uh, what do you think from that individual agent's perspective is the meaning of it all? So for us humans, you're just one agent who's going to be dead, unfortunately, one day too soon. What do you think is the why of why th that agent came to be and uh, eventually will be no more? Mm. Is there a meaning to it all? Yeah. In evolution, there is meaning. Everything is a potential direction. Everything is a potential stepping stone. Um, not all of them are going to work out. Some of them are foundations for further um, improvement. And even those that are perhaps going to die out, uh, where potential lineages, potential solutions. In biology, we see a lot of species die off naturally, and you know, like the dinosaurs. I mean, they were a really good solution for a while, but then it didn't turn out to be not such a good solution in the long term. Uh, when there's an environmental change, you have to have diversity. Some other solutions become better. It doesn't mean that the that, that was an attempt. It didn't quite work out or last, uh, but there are still dinosaurs among us, at least their relatives, uh, and they may one day again be, be useful. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, yeah. So from an individual's perspective, you got to think of a bigger picture, that it is a, a, a huge engine uh, that is innovative, uh, and these elements are all part of it, potential innovations uh, on their own and also as, um, as raw material, perhaps, or... Mm. Um, stepping stones for other things that could come after. But it still feels from an individual perspective that I, I matter a lot, but even if I'm just a little cog in the, the giant machine, well, is that just a silly human notion in a individualistic society and they should let go of that? Um, do, you, do you find beauty in being part of the giant machine? Yeah, I think it's meaningful. Um, <laughs> I think it adds purpose to your life that you are part of something bigger. <laughs> that said, are you? Uh, do you ponder your individual agent's mortality? Uh, do you do you think about death? Do you fear death? Well, certainly more now than when I was a <laughs> youngster and did skydiving and paragliding and <laughs> you know all you, these things. Uh, you now, become wiser. <laughs> um, there is a reason for this uh, life arc that younger folks are more fearless in many ways that's part of the exploration mm -hmm. you know they are the they are the individuals who think hmm i wonder what's over those mountains or what if i go really far in that ocean what would i find i mean older folks i don't necessarily think that way <laughs> but younger do and yeah. it's kind of counterintuitive so yeah it's this uh it, but logically it's like uh, you know you have a limited amount of time what can you do with it that matters Right. Uh, so you try to, you have done your exploration, you committed to a certain direction, uh, and you become an expert perhaps in it. What can I do that matters uh, with with the limited resources that I have? That's what uh, how you I think uh, a lot of people, myself included, start thinking later on in mm -hmm. their career. And uh, like you said, leave a bit of a trace and a bit of an impact, even though after the agent is gone. Yeah, that's the goal. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this was a fascinating conversation. I don't think there's a better way to end it. Uh, thank you so much. So first of all, I'm very inspired of how vibrant the community at UT Austin and Austin is. It's really exciting for me uh, to see it. And this whole field seems like profound philosophically, but also the path forward for the artificial intelligence community. So thank you so much for explaining so many cool things to me today and for wasting all of your valuable time with me. Oh, it was a pleasure. Thanks, Larry. I appreciate it.